Do you enjoy paying your hard-earned money to other people so that they don't have to work? Good evening, Dr. Jones, fellow students from Norfolk State University, and concerned citizens everywhere. My name is Ryan Gorell, and I'm here today to convince you to take action against current state and federal legislation regarding the administration and execution of the welfare program. The majority of people on welfare today choose to stay on welfare rather than work. The issue at hand is that the U.S. government has spent over $131 billion on welfare last year, and that is not even including the food stamp program or unemployment funding. My major issue with the welfare system as it stands now is that there are over 4 million Americans on, we on welfare, over 46 million Americans on food stamps, and over 5.5 million Americans on unemployment, and all, of, and all of the money that they receive comes from government allocation of our tax money. On many occasions, welfare in specific states pays more than minimum wage, often a lot more. In nine of the U.S. states, welfare payments pay more than that of the average teacher's salary. This is unacceptable. The Personal Responsibility and Work Opportunity Reconciliation Act of 1996, more commonly referred to as the Welfare Reform Law, created TANF, which is the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families. TANF was designed not for families that lived in poverty simply because that was the lifestyle they were accustomed, which is what TANF's pre predecessor allowed for. It was created to assist households with children and who have a primary and or secondary breadwinner who, for whatever reason, is no longer able to provide adequate monetary sustenance for the family. It was not designed for people who lived in poverty to have children simply to get government money, which is, what one, of the, which is one of the issues that we, have, that we have with the current regulations. For a moment, imagine that you are working hard for your family, your family depends on you to work, so you keep working day after day just to provide for them. You work tirelessly. Payday arrives, and you get paid in cash. As you go to the door, there is a government official there who stops you and takes a portion of your money you worked tooth and nail to earn and turns to a person who has never worked a day in their life and has two kids, and the official says, oh, here you go, you don't have to work to earn money. It seems to me almost like the American dream getting money without having to work. The Obama administration wants to loosen the already very lax requirements to qualify, qualify for and stay on TANF. The Obama administration wants to make it so that the definition of work becomes, less, becomes even less specific than it already is. There is even talk of reducing the number of hours of work required for TANF. The current regulations are that a household has to have 30 to 45 percent of able-bodied TANF recipients engage in any of 12 different work activities for at least 20 to 30 hours per week. A person on TANF can remain on the program for up to two years before having to actively be hired for a productive job. There are, incredible, there are an incredible amount of ways to avoid that. All a person has to do is prove that they have attempted to be hired, and if they can't be hired, then they, have, then they are continuously granted extensions. I haven't even mentioned to you that there is no drug testing to qualify for TANF, which to me is simply absurd. Since the majority of people that I have personally seen on TANF, I know for a fact are habitual drug users, whether it be drugs, alcohol, or tobacco products. There is no regulation on what the TANF money can be spent on. It is simply, here's your check, have fun, we hope you provide for your family. The fact that a person can be on welfare or TANF and make more money than someone working full-time at a blue-collar job or even a teacher is wholly unacceptable. TANF is meant to be an emergency resource to provide for your family in a time of genuine financial crisis. It is absolutely not meant as a continued source of income. The stipulations, regulations, and enforcement of current welfare TANF guidelines need to be stripped down to bare bones and brought back like a phoenix from the ashes to provide only those who are in true need and are making a serious effort to recover and who are genuinely going to use the money that they receive to provide for their family that, with the money that they need to do so. The government needs to hear the people loud and clear that those of us who do work, for our, work ourselves to the bone for our families are not here to support those who do not. If you are out there today listening to my message, my call to arms, my rally cry. If you are like me, a hardworking American who would and does do everything in my power to provide the best life I can for my family. If you feel that it is not your job to support those that don't feel the need to support themselves. If that describes you in any way, I implore you, today, tomorrow, and the next day, get the attention of your state legislators to make a difference, to make a change to welfare, and to make it now. I am tired of paying for other people's laziness, and you should be too. Thank you.